In my YouTube channel, I've made more than 100 videos so far, and I think almost half of them are about my favorite app, Rome Research. And one of the questions I get the most is about what plugins I use for Rome. My name is Shu, and in this video, I want to show you my most favorite plugins I use for Rome Research. Rome is such a powerful tool for thinking and creating new ideas. Some people even call it a programming tool for your thoughts, and I think that's very true. Rome is a very powerful tool as it is, but it can be even more powerful with plugins and extensions. There are lots of plugins for Rome thanks to its amazing community, which is actually one of the reasons why I keep using Rome over other note taking apps. You know, the people in the community are always eager to share what they learned and help each other, and they are always passionate about making the product even better. But anyways, I have tried so many plugins for Rome and most of them are really good, but there are four plugins that I use the most. The first plugin is called Rome Toolkit. I think this is one of the most famous and popular plugins among users. It's been around for quite a while now and it's one of the oldest ones. But that doesn't make it irrelevant. Even now, it's incredibly useful. Essentially, as the name suggests, this plugin contains various tools, such as live preview, space repetition, block manipulation, space graph sidebar, and so on. All of which are really useful. For example, the spatial graph feature lets you use your roam like a mind map. But the main reason I still use this plugin is a Vim-like navigation feature. You may already heard about Vim, but it's essentially a text editor which lets you code at the speed of light, because with Vim, you can do pretty much anything on your keyboard using commands, instead of using your mouse or trackpad. So for example, in Rome, if you use this plugin, you can move between blocks using J and K on the keyboard, or move a few blocks down and up with Ctrl U and D, and click the selection with A and start writing. That's the very basic commands, and as you can see, there are lots of different ones. And if you memorize all of these commands, you're gonna be able to write and edit much faster in Rome. If you haven't tried this plugin yet, you definitely should because there are lots of other features too. The next one is Rome 42, developed by Rome Hacker. I think this is probably the most famous Rome plugin and used by most people. Like Rome Toolkit, this plugin also contains lots of different features. For instance, my favorite is the daily note pop-up window. Whenever you want to open the daily note quickly, you can press the command which will bring up the daily note for today. I use it when I'm working on a project, but then suddenly got a new idea. I can open the daily note and write it down fast. Another feature I really like is the natural language processing. I think this is one of the features that are still missing in Rome. Basically, if you type something like Friday to P, then it will convert it into a proper date. This is useful if you use Rome for organizing your tasks and use it as a reminder. You can type like call grandma on Saturday 8pm, then use a the natural language processing. And there are lots of other different features in Rome 42, which you can see from the health page. And that includes a famous smart block feature too which is probably the most popular feature of this plugin. So I recommend installing it and experiment by yourself. There are so many things you can do with it. The third one is Rome SR. I actually introduced this plugin in my last video, so I won't go into too much detail, but in a nutshell, it's the best plugin for space repetition in Rome. This lets you implement a space repetition system like the ones you see in Anki and Quizlet. It's incredibly useful if you're a student or if you want to remember what you learned from books and articles for a long time. If you're interested, please have a look at my last video for more details and how I use it. The last one is a plugin made by Aslan Elza. This plugin is really simple. It highlights the path of your current block. That's all, but I think it's really useful because sometimes it's kind of hard to see which block you're on right now, but this makes it clear where you are. Also, it looks really pretty. All right, so that was a list of my favorite plugins for Rome Research. I think there are lots of more useful plugins, so if I miss something, please let me know in the comment. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.